I'm Katrina and this is Sew and Tear and today we are going to be redoing our uh, winter roof for our main quail aviary. Good? Yeah. I'm Katrina and this is Sew and Tear and today we're going to fix this aviary uh, winter roof. I'm up here because I've already marked where the grommets are. We're going to drill a hole and put one of these hooks on the inside, like that, for to hold the grommet of the new tarp, which is going to have awning all the way around. Here we go. Hopefully I'm on. That worked pretty well. No, which way do I turn it? As long as it's not too wide the hole. Oh boy, this is going to be hard. <laughs> it's not wide enough? I have no strength going in that direction. Is it tight? There it is. I still have no strength. <laughs> and I think I gotta get it started first. You don't have to film anymore. So you can see from above here, um, we're getting puddling in between there. That's that's because I did a flat roof and so angled roof. Didn't think about winter when I made this in summer. And then it doesn't go out any further past that and it needs an awning. And of course we didn't have a tarp big enough for that part, but this will fix it because we're going to attach it to this building, the garage, and it will then go down. We're making an awning to go it onto. So we have a board that we got for free. It's too thick. Um, so he's ripping it lengthwise to make more smaller boards since we don't need that much weight. And that's how you can turn one board into more than one board. So here we're just getting set up. I'm going up on the roof and he's tossing things up to me. Um, one of the issues that we had when doing this is laying out where the tarp uh, grommets were. And because we're going to kind of flip it over, uh, we needed to have the grommet holes in the right place when we put the hooks in underneath the eave. Um, this was problematic because it's not the same on both sides of the tarp. So if you're trying to do this, um, make sure that you know which side is going to be which when you, when you mess with the tarps because they put the grommets at an equal distance and the equal distance, um, doesn't always match up with uh, the measurements from one corner or the measurements with the other corner. So there's a little warning for you. We ended up putting it uh, the way I didn't want to do it. I was going to have silver side up and black side down, but the way we ended up measuring it ended up being silver side down and black side up, which is fine. It doesn't matter at all. It's a tarp and, and it works just fine. I guess since the black side is out, it will keep them maybe a little bit warmer in the winter. And the silver side is in, it will reflect more of the rope light that I have out there. So maybe it's a good mistake. So 
So for this next part, um, Manuel was detaching the existing tarp while I was drilling holes and putting in the hooks underneath the eave. And it took me way longer than it should have because most of the time I was doing that, I was trying to screw it in the opposite direction. Um, it's a very awkward way to to do that work. Um, it's back. You have to think backwards from what you think it should be. And then like, it's a weird arm strength because you're pushing away from you, um, in an, in an angle that is not natural for your muscles to be doing. So anyway, so I was struggling a little bit with that when I really shouldn't be. Um, the second two holes and hooks were a lot better than the rest of them. I finally got it going the right direction. <laughs> So this is also where Manuel started to build the awning and we were going to go all the way around on three sides, but it turns out that it only needed it on the long side because the tarp that I had was so long that it cut, we could cover, we could overlap on either side. Um, I was not looking for a tarp that big. That is just what was available. That was big enough. Um, so, which is why you'll see it's hanging down at the very end, which it works. It's a little funky looking, but it works. Yeah. So, with these hooks, they can be very difficult to screw in anytime, but especially from this angle. So, what you do is you get it started, you get it in there, and then you use a flathead screwdriver or any other sort of prying bar and put it through. Can you see it? Through it's like that. It's a little hard, but... And then move it over. Is it recording? Yeah. Okay. So that is the easiest way to save your hands from screwing it in. And also it's backwards. So like at the very beginning, I was taking a long time to do it because it kept on going the wrong way first because it's because you're screwing away from you instead of the normal one. So this makes it a whole lot easier. So now all of the hooks are in and I'm ready to put up the tarp and figure it out. It was the wrong way. So we have to flip it over, <laughs> try again, and we finally got it up there, but it took a while to figure it out.
open. I almost dropped my computer. Oh. You want help? Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, you're getting them and their food wet. Okay. It's okay. Well, deal with it. At least it's still light out. Whoops. Didn't mean to put water into the aviary. Time to add more wood shavings to the area that got wet. What happened? Huh? What happened? Well, hold part. Okay, so we didn't quite show pulling the tarp all the way over. It did take a couple hands to do that. Um, what Manuel is doing here is he decided to hook a weight onto the end of the tarp, and the weight is just a two by four with the same hooks that we used for the garage. And the idea behind that is that it would pull the tarp down tighter. I thought we needed a few more supports on the awning, which probably would have been a good idea, but this works too. We added some clamps later. So we are inside the main quail aviary, which is the one that we um, put the tarp on. It looks like for the most part it's working. There's up by the eaves where it's connected. Um, and we actually, I'll put a photo in here, but we actually um, have a little bubble here of um, water that has sunken down in between our awning and the and the aviary. It was bigger and then um, we put some C clamps on the outside. You can see, well maybe you can see, there you can see that one um, to hold it a little better and I think it worked okay. Um, over here is where we put the other ones. We need to put them all along though. Um, <laughs> we are in a flood advisory right now, so it is raining quite a bit. And it looks like uh, this morning there was 0.65 of an inch for our 24 hour. And then now it looks, looks like it's about the same right now. And it's only a couple hours later. So. So they're doing good. Everybody's dry. It looks like we might have um, a little bit of holes in the tarp, it looks like, actually. Up there. Little ones. I'll have to fix that later. But um, that looks like it's probably just a, a defect in the tarp. But everybody in here is nice and dry. And 
enjoying life. Hi guys. Hi. Well, hello. So. Well, now they want to talk since they're on camera. <laughs> Goodness, boys, you got a voice today. <clears throat> it is coming down. It's raining so much right now. I'm gonna go uh, kind of pour that belly out. We fixed the issue over here, but we do need more clamps over here. I might be going to the store today. Didn't really want to go to the store the Christmas Eve Eve, <laughs> but I guess I probably will for clamps. Look how much it's raining out there. I don't know if the uh, camera can pick it up or not. There. It is coming down. <laughs> I'm wet. <laughs> well, I succeeded in getting my pants wet. So once we have clamped on, we use C clamps. Once we clamp that on, this has been working great. Um, not even sure we need this board on the bottom, but we have it. Might as well keep it. It just gives a little extra weight to pull it down. And then um, it is attached very well to the roof with hooks. And it appears that this slant is not collecting any water. The only part that collects some water is in here, but it's not very much. And it spills over with the clamps. It's, it's only holding a little bit, so it's working.